I downloaded a mod for people playground that adds a bunch of different floods into the game, like an electric flood, a lava flood, and many more. So today, my goal is to survive each of these floods, but I have to use a different contraption slash boat to survive each of these floods. So the question is, is it impossible to survive all these floods? Well, let's find out. All right, here we are on the playground, and on the left side of my screen, you can see all the different floods that I'll have to survive today, except this one right here. I don't know what this is, but this is not a part of the flood mod I'm playing today. So anyway, in order for it to count as me surviving a flood, I will need to survive it for two minutes straight without dying. So with all that being said, I mean, I think we should just get started with flood number one. So I'm just going to start with the simple water flood, and it looks like they already provide us with a boat, a wooden raft, a very unstable raft. Okay, that sounds great. Plop this down right here, put our uh, person on it. Oh, I can't even see his head. It's covered up. Let's start the flood. I'm spawning it in. I'll spawn it in at the 30 second mark. Boom. There it comes. So I need to survive it until 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Shouldn't be too difficult because it's just a normal flood. Wow, they were not lying. This raft sucks. Look at this thing. It's getting airtime. There's no ways, but it's getting airtime. Wow, this is some crazy content guys i hope you're loving it would you look at that we're already making it close to the 230 mark well only five more seconds and that's flood one already done i mean all right and that's time looks like i was able to survive that flood how far did the water rise <laughs> i'm draining the flood oh this dude's in a free fall yeah that probably hurt a little bit Okay, next up is the sticky flood. I don't know what this entails, but I have to build a raft now because I already used the one that was provided for me. Uh, what if I use beds? Can you float on a bed? All right, this, is, this should work. <laughs> this is a good raft, you think? I probably have to tie a person down to it though, right? I'll use something destructible. I'll use a wooden strut. Actually, you should lay down, dude. Hold on. Let me just lay this guy down like an actual bed. Knockout. Yeah, go to bed, dude. You'll wake up 100 feet in the air in a sticky flood. I don't know what that means. All right, spawning sticky goo at the 430 mark in... Hold on. Three, two, one. Time to win is 630. Uh-oh. 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 Not good. Not good. Um, yeah. So it seems like this uh, liquid's a little bit more viscous, probably because it's a sticky flood. So uh, this guy is currently underwater. He will probably drown here any second. Maybe he has gills and he can breathe in the sticky liquid. Well, his oxygen level's about gone. And... And there goes all of his oxygen and there goes his whole body well that did not all right okay this one appears like it's already gonna be a bit more of a challenge i'm not quite sure how to combat this i need okay i need to strategize here because like i said i can't use the same contraption twice so like i don't want to use something super overpowered on the sticky flood when i have an even harder one like the decimator flood that literally deletes everything it touches i'm trying to think of anything to do here i just took a screenshot that's that scared me i'm just gonna spawn random stuff into like the sticky flood to see if anything is like buoyant enough to Okay, well, it looks like I found my item already. <laughs> okay, well, it looks like I have to use some barrels. It looks like that's buoyant enough to stay afloat. Okay, look at that. Put this guy in a barrel. Strap him down. Wow, okay, this I guess I made this way more complicated than it needed to be. Spawning flood time to beat is 10 minutes. Well, I really messed that up because I put him on... Well, maybe not. I really off-centered him, so, like, the weight was displaced, so he kind of fell over. But, I mean, I really don't see a problem with this. I mean, this was a really simple boat, too, so it's not like I lost out on some crazy contraption. I want to quickly test something because I'm thinking possibly the bed was so heavy it actually like killed the last person because it was just so heavy it couldn't float. So I'm just going to spawn a normal person to see what would happen. I literally could have won the last round if I didn't put a person on a bed. You could have won. You can win this round with nothing. That's kind of, well, I don't know. Oh, well, the 10 minutes pass. Well, I actually don't know if you could win this round. I'm now I'm more curious about this. Could you win this round with nothing? Yeah, you can win this round with literally nothing. I didn't even need the barrel. Okay, next up is the zombie flood. I don't know what this is, so I'm gonna actually quickly spawn it in just to kind of see what it will do. I'm gonna put a person in it, and oh, so it turns them into a zombie. Well, hold on, can I just win this round with nothing as well? Yeah, that doesn't make <laughs> his blood about 1,557%. How come none of these people know how to swim? Like, his head's basically above water. Like, hey, Dinkle Dick, how about you just hold your head above water for a little bit? I mean, I don't know. Okay, so this round seems like it'll be really easy to be. I just need to find something buoyant. Helium's proud probably pretty buoyant you would think right <laughs> could i make a raft out of helium all right time to beat is going to be 14 minutes and 30 seconds right now here comes the flood and the helium tanks aren't 
buoyant. Awesome. You would think helium tanks would float because they're lighter than air. Helium is, but I guess not. Hold on. Is a bus buoyant? Yep, all right. Do you think a wooden table's buoyant? You would think, right? I mean, I don't see why not. I'll just put a person on the table, strap them down, and time to beat 1615. Unless it doesn't float, which currently it's not looking too good. Once again, the table doesn't float. Awesome. Well, oh. Uh-oh, he's gonna tilt. He's tilting. Uh, keep your head above water. Keep your head above water. Oh. Uh well, his oxygen levels are still at 100%, so looks like I'm about to beat this one, but the wood keeps cracking or something. Honestly, I'm getting a little bit cocky right now because I've just survived the whole top row of floods with really no issues here, and that's two minutes. Another easy dub for me. Okay, so I'm just trying to find simple buoyant stuff because like I said before, I know there's going to be some hard floods that are going to take me a bit to beat. So I don't want to use like a crazy contraption that I should use for a harder flood. So for that reason, what if I just use a beehive? Is this a bad idea? I don't know. I guess we'll about to find out. Beehives you think would be buoyant, right? There's like honeycombs and stuff in it. All right, spawning blood flood. Time to beat is 20 minutes. And it does not... Oh, and the beehive is able to float. I'm not entirely sure what the purpose of this flood is. I don't know if it's literally just blood. But uh, this guy is floating in the blood right now with the beehive. Hold on, I want to quickly see. If you put someone, like, in it, do they come out all bloody and stuff? Oh, they do. Look at him. He's got a bunch of blood on him. That This is kind of cool, I'm not going to lie. And, like, when you jump in the water, there's, that's, this, this, this is a cool flood, I'm not going to lie. All right, and that's another flood completed. Yep, and here is Big Daddy already coming out to play the Decimator Flood. So if you don't know what the Decimator is, it's an item in the game that just deletes anything it touches, and this is just a flood of that. So as you can see, it just deletes anything that instantly touches it. Like, this is a problem. And I honestly, when thinking of the idea for this video, I was thinking hard about this flood specifically because I knew it was in the mod, and I think I came up with a genius solution. A comically large balloon. <laughs> so this is really stupid, and I know this is kind of of cheesy but literally this one would be impossible if i didn't do this so with that being said let's spawn the decimator flood time to beat is 24 minutes hopefully i'm faster than the flood i'm not actually sure if i am or not yeah we're gaining distance on it but yeah literally if i tried anything else like building a raft or anything a, a slower piano in there a bed Anything, anything you throw in there immediately just disappears. So I, I literally couldn't build a raft for this one. I'd have to just fly above it. Ooh, what if I put Satama in the water? Oh, it kills him. Interesting. How about the time traveler? Kills him too. Who else can I throw in here that's super strong? Let me throw the unkillable human in here. See what it does. Oh boy, my game's lagging. This might have been a bad idea. Hold on, I'm pausing the timer because I absolutely just broke my game. Dude, he multiplied in the water. What is going on? This was that. This was a mistake on my end. I'm not gonna lie. Why can I not delete him? Hello? Hello? Dude, don't tell me I have to reset my game. God, dude, that sucks. I have to waste another two minutes. Yeah! Crash, just crash. That's just spectacular. All right, well, that was really stupid on my part. So I have to redo all of this again. Time to be 28 minutes and 18 seconds, but it doesn't really matter because I basically already won. I'm gonna go take a pee, dude. I don't want to sit here and watch this. I'll be back. Uh, what was the time again? It was like 28 minutes and like 18 seconds or something weird. It's at 29 minutes, so I definitely think we did it, right? I definitely did. I'm calling it. Hold on, you know be funny? Let me shoot this dude's balloon. Whoops, 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 whoops. All right, dude, this is gonna really suck for you. Goodbye. Okay, that was the flood I was kind of worried about. This one I'm a little bit worried about too is the acid flood. I don't know if it eats away at material. I know it obviously will kill a person pretty quickly. And I also can't use a typical strategy of just like using something slightly buoyant and a person just kind of floating in it because if a person floats or even touches the acid, they will like instantly die. So I need to find something that can keep this guy literally off this liquid. I actually have quite an interesting idea. I don't know if this is going to work. This might be really stupid and overcomplicated, but I might just have a, like an ion thrust on the bottom of this I-beam like this. Hold on. And then it should thrust this. Will it have enough power to get this thing off the ground? No, it won't. All right. Okay, perfect. Okay, still not enough juice to get off the ground. Well, uh, that's five. Okay, no matter what I do, this won't go off the ground because I've literally filled the entire bottom of the I-beam with, I with thrusters and it just won't work. I, I thought they'd have enough power to lift up an I-beam in a person, but I guess not. What this big wooden pole? Let me lay this guy down so it disperses his weight a little bit better. Okay, time to beat. 36 minutes and 30 seconds. And would you look at that? The log floats. As long as this dude doesn't get up and try breaking his restraints, this should work. He, I mean, this dude's literally inches away from getting his whole body, like, liquefied by the acid. I'm hoping 
hoping everything goes good. It's kind of wobbling a little bit. It's making me a little bit nervous. I'm not going to lie. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I went up to get a drink and he's dead. I, I, the time passed, but I don't know when he died. That's not good. This might be a code red situation here. When did you die? Oh, put your leg down there, buddy. I ain't trying to get freaky right now. Um, I, I guess I'll have to quickly review the footage. I don't know when the dude died. Okay, I'm, I'm reviewing the footage right now. Okay, he's still looking good. Oh, but right here is when things hit the fan. What happened? I, dude, I told you earlier that he was gonna try breaking for his restraints. That's what he did. He's probably still alive, though, you'd think, right? Is he dead? I guess I don't even know. I, I'm gonna redo it, because I can't consciously say that I actually beat this one. Should I double up on logs just to, like, make sure? I'll, I'll get another log in here. All right, same thing as before. I'm just gonna knock this guy out where's the knockout button at no Ugh. let me give him a good old dose of some good juice here like an infinite knockout syringe let me uh make sure he's all good and ready i did not mean to stab him there but i'm sure he'll get the memo all right time to beat 43 minutes and 12 seconds let's fly all right, there we go. We went a little bit over the time limit here, but luckily giggle shit over here didn't actually break away from his constraints and kill himself. Here we go. That's another dub for me. Next up, we got the electrified flood. Now, this one I'm kind of excited for because obviously, hold on, let me quickly show you. Why is the screen blue? Why, why does it move with me? Hello? Anyway, as it, the name implies, it is electric, so I can't use anything metal. <laughs> so this one might be a little bit difficult because like before, I can't have the person touch the water at all. So I need to find something pretty buoyant. <laughs> what about a Minecraft boat? I feel like that is different enough from the like the boat in the beginning, right? Like a, a Minecraft craft boat is nothing like the raft I used in the beginning. I think this is fine. Hopefully this works. Hold on. I'm gonna have this guy sit down. I think it'd be better if he's sitting, right? Dude, if you're gonna break your back from sitting down in a boat, you, uh, you're you not even allowed on the ship, dude. You're not allowed. Yeah, you know what? You too. You you take damage from sitting down. Get off my ship. I'm actually gonna tie this guy down to the boat so he doesn't get out. All right, here we go. Time to beat is 50 minutes and 26 seconds. Let's go. All right, awesome. It actually looks like there's still some liquid inside the boat. So the dude just got electrocuted. Now, what if I stacked five boats on top of each other and used it? I'm gonna knock this guy out real quickly. Or that's probably a bad idea, actually. You ninkin poop, you slammed your head on the boat and now you're about dead. Get off my boat. No. Cat, you guys suck. All right, time to beat. It's 52 minutes and 36 seconds. All right, I don't like how the water is rising and the boats are not moving. Get up, get up, get up, go, go, get up. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Yep, just ride the boats right up. And don't even worry about the big blue box that's coming up half my screen. Okay, I honestly forgot what time I needed to win. I was like 50, I'll go to 53 minutes just to be sure. And that's 53 minutes beat whatever time I was supposed to originally beat by like 30 seconds. So I'm calling that a definite win for me. Okay, next up is the cold water flood. Now, I don't actually know how deadly this is. I'll quickly test it, I guess. Like, if someone touches it, they're going to die instantly. Um, yeah, it does appear that way, actually. How cold are they? About <laughs> negative 459 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, yeah, it's a bit chilly. I'm pretty sure it's actually absolute zero. Like, scientifically, that's the coldest temperature something can be. Okay, this might be one of my stupidest ideas I've ever done in a video before. But what if I took Tatsuma, put him on the ground, tied his head to his feet. Hey, it immediately broke. Why is this not working? Are you kidding me? I'm gonna spawn Satama, and I'm gonna spawn someone on Satama's head, tie them down to Satama's head, like really tie him down, and then we'll spawn the flood and this person will live on top of his head. It's pretty simple in my opinion. Time to beat, 57 minutes and eight seconds. Nope, I meant 59 minutes and eight seconds. No way this works. <laughs> Oh, why wouldn't this work? Dude, no one at MIT is doing innovative stuff like this, but get me in the MIT school. <laughs> in THE MIT school. Wait, what was the time I needed to beat again? It was like 59 minutes and 8 seconds, right? Dude, again, I get- I, I just like zone out and I look at the time and I win. It, it, this, this, this challenge is just too easy. Okay, now we have two extremely difficult ones to end off on. And the first one is the bouncy water flood. Now, this one I'm very concerned about because this bouncy water flood sucks. 
Like, how how am I supposed to survive this, dude? Like, what 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 do I do? What do I do? How does one survive this? And you gain height too. Like, you if you start gaining some height, look at that. And I already used my balloon strategy on like the unavoidable decimator flood, so I don't know what to do for this one. Like, genuinely. Okay, so my first instinct obviously is to just build a box and tie this dude's limbs and stuff so he can't even move. Now, call me crazy, but I don't see why this wouldn't work. If he can't move at all, then how can he take any damage? And these steel bindings are strong, so they shouldn't break. But I guess with that being said, I guess we'll see if I can do it. Time to be an hour and six minutes and eight seconds. Let's run it. Uh oh, okay, and we got lift off. Okay. Oh, oh no, he's already taking damage. This is not good. Wait, I have an idea. I got an idea. I have an idea. I'm gonna drain the flood. Okay, we're gonna let this land back on the ground safely. Like I said, safely and calmly. I'm just gonna put a bunch of dampening boxes in here. This it, this is a good idea, right? Time to be is an hour and eight minutes. Not a good start, not a good start, not a good start. Oh boy. Okay, well wait, what if I could just skip the middleman here and I just attach a bunch of dampening boxes to a normal person? I don't see why not. All right, time to beat. We'll just make an hour, 10 minutes for simplicity's sake. Okay, not a good start, but this is kind of working, you have to admit. Bounce for safe. Okay, he needs to not land on his back, because that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Ah. I have like two dampening boxes for each part of this dude's body. There's no way that this goes awry. Okay, not a good start. His foot just got ripped off. Oh boy. When he starts rotating, this is when things get bad. Oh boy, not looking good. Yep. Now this should work. What? Oh my god, his head got ripped off. Okay, call me insane, but I don't see how this doesn't work. Like, personally, I don't literally get how this can work. There's like 50 dampening boxes. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. How is this breaking this guy? How is it breaking this guy so badly? There's literally no reason for this not to work. Literally zero reason. Like, actually, this time. Okay, I'm sp I've spawned the flood, and I'm gonna unpause time. Time to beat. Gotta get up quick. Holy crap, that was close. The time to be is an hour. We'll just say an hour 21, just to be safe. Okay, somehow this dude's bleeding. What's the problem? Okay, his feet. Why? What happened to your feet, dude? I don't even know. Okay, all, we just gotta survive another minute 20. That's all we need to survive, dude. I know your feet are shattered and whatnot, but I don't care. He's still all right. Only 20 more seconds. You'll be fine. There we go. That's time. Time, 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 time. And now you can enjoy your probably five hour descent to the bottom. You can track my exact trajectory as I went up in the air by following this literal trail of blood up. And for the final flood, the lava flood. Uh, so this one definitely has a problem like the others where I can't even touch it, but this one might be a little bit more difficult because of the heat. But if I remember anything from my crossing a lava pool is that these container wagons are actually way more buoyant than you think. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spawn one of those in and I'm gonna put insulation on the top of it. And I'm just gonna pray that this alone will bring us to victory. All right, time to beat is an hour, 26 minutes and like five seconds. Oh, you know what would make this challenge a little bit more difficult, though, is if I had uh, ambient temperature on. Let me do that real quick, because that'll make this actually kind of difficult. Now we really bumped up the difficulty a bit here. It's, it, it's heating up, I think, a little bit, but we just kind of keep moving up away from the heat. Might as well do my outro right now, because I pretty much just won. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and comment your ideas, because I did get this idea from somebody. I will try it my hardest to find the comment. So thank you for watching, and I think we have, like, what? 12 more seconds on the timer. I honestly forgot what the time was again. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna lie, dude. I've been recording for an hour and a half. I want to make sure I like beat the time because that'd be really upsetting if I didn't. I'm just gonna go to an hour 27, dude. I'm, I'm gonna go for another pee. Pee completed. I definitely got the time limit. Goodbye.